Good morning, traders. Today is Thursday, September 27th, and this is Bob Havercorn coming to you from RGO Futures in Chicago. Uh, here to talk about the gold and silver again today here. Uh, interesting day yesterday as well as this morning, what we're seeing right now. Now, something I failed to mention in yesterday's video is yesterday was options expiration for the gold and the silver uh, for the previous month for October. So you did see some pretty uh, crazy fluctuations. I mean, watching or trading any market on options expiration always can have some, you know, pretty uh, crazy correlations. You know, you saw the gold trade back down below 1750 briefly. Uh, silver traded down pretty far too to 3350, uh, 3360 territory. Um, you know, and then after uh, that pick closed at 1230 Central, you did see uh, a pretty big upside move come back where gold traded back to 1755. Silver tr sniffing around that 34 area as well. Um, this morning, it's pretty bullish right now so far. You had a missed durable goods number that uh, missed pretty big, down 13. They're expecting, I think it was supposed to be down five. Um, you also had job, weekly jobless claims that were a little better than expected. Um, so mixed bag of goods, but that durable goods number was pretty bad here. And also the quarter uh, two GDP being revised down to 1.3 from 1.7, I think had a pretty, uh, you know, a correlation with gold and silver, gave it some lift to the upside here. Uh, currently, right now, gold's trading around 1766. It did try to break 1770 a little bit ago here. So, uh, with the rally it had late yesterday, last night, and this morning, does appear to be back on track for that bullish uh, move back to 1800. Uh, silver, likewise, probably looking to make a move to 35. Now, I may have been a little ambitious by with talking about gold 1800 last week, but I do see it coming here. If we can just get a close here above 1770 today. You should probably see this thing, uh, you know, the bullish formation reform here and see more buying activity coming to the market. But it's looking pretty good this morning for the bulls. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me uh, over here at RJO Futures. Uh, remember to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. And remember, futures trading poses significant risk and is not suitable for all investors.